Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion YJO here and today I'm going to be opening up the Trap Trick Structure Deck that just came out. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be uploading, it's probably over the weekend, but I already did a deck profile with this deck, uh, uh, just the three Structure Decks, so I want to go ahead, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I uh, will leave a link in the description. It should also be a card up here somewhere, top left hand, right, right hand corner, I think it's going to be this corner over here. There you go, there you go. <laughs> um, so with that being said guys, I was able to go ahead and pick these up. I actually took uh, three hours to uh, get these three decks, and I really just should have gone to my local card shop. I was trying to go ahead and not drive 15 minutes. I was trying to get it, you know, nearby. So I went to GameStop. I went to uh, sorry, three GameStops, <laughs> a Walmart, Target, Best Buy. Uh, and ended up just caving in. So anyway, I wanted to go ahead and get the Lost Art promotion as well. Um, so with that being said, I did pick one of these up at a GameStop. So then I didn't have, I didn't want to pick up a fourth uh, Trap Trick Structure Deck. So I also picked up one of the 2022 Megatons just, you know, because. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we're going to be, uh, go ahead and check that out today. Just because I am very, very much curious as to uh, if we are able to pull anything. Cool. I still don't have any Forbidden Drop and um, I think that's the card that is uh, mandatory to have and not necessarily the best card in the current format but we'll see so we'll get to the um, the deck opening here in just a little bit guys so we can go ahead and go over it together um, if you guys want to see my more uh, I don't want to say reaction because I've read the cards and I you know obviously obviously pack has this thing but I also think it'd be pretty cool to go ahead and at least get it open together right so if you guys want to go ahead and skip to that I'll leave a, a time card a time stamp I should say so you go ahead and skip to it but I am curious to see what we can get at least from the Megatons so let's see na -na -na -na. And uh, synchro transmission. Hey, <laughs> nice. We got a super rare uh, Sioux ship, Arm Sage, very cool. Dark Eye, a Bear Brum, a Rainbow Bridge Salvation. There you go. And that is it. All right, cool. I, I have really no expectations for this uh, whatsoever. So we are just going about this. Uh, like I said, if I get a pros if I have to get a, like a prosperity or um, a uh, like I said, I think. Oh, that's that's a good card. Hey, nice! I actually don't have a, a higher rarity copy of Dark Ruin no more, so that's pretty cool. I literally only have the um, the commons printing, pr common printing, so that's pretty cool. I actually need that. Nice, a little rarity upgrade. And let's see here. Na -na 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 -na. Uh, live twin. Sun Seed, a Sun Sage, very cool. Uh, actually, I was considering picking up some of these as well because I want to go ahead and rebuild my Utopia deck. Uh, if you guys uh, remember those from, I think, was it uh, June, July last year, uh, when I had just pulled uh, uh, two Utop two Ulti Utopias back to back. No, three Ulti Utopias back to back to back uh, at my local. So I pretty much said, okay, well, I have to build a Utopia deck, uh, which was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, so cool. I got a Darker One More and then a Sunset Age. Very nice. <laughs> uh, so I, I am very excited to go ahead and open this up. I was debating on if I wanted to go actually go ahead and pick it up uh, because I am very, very much committed to making Sprites my main competitive deck. Um, but of course it is important to make sure that you are having fun with the game as well And while I do enjoy playing sprites, I think taking a little break from the deck uh, cannot hurt um, Also, uh, I like the Lost Art promotion or whatever it, and Yeah, for some reason I am just the worst when it comes to actually opening up sealed products like I always uh, And I don't mean to I just happen to always uh, push the knife directly into my body, which you should never do. So do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Alright, so we got the uh, fun stuff over here. What I actually really love about the structure deck as well is that you pretty much get the entire extra deck. Uh, the entire extra deck for trap tricks, you get it immediately right here. I think you may want to go ahead and pick up like a Zeus, uh, and then you're good to go. Uh, as far as that is concerned, maybe a Parallel XC, like I said, maybe a Baguska uh, as well. Oh, it's already a little bit... It's already a little bit damaged. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, well, it's okay. Economy's quality control. But still really cool. So we got Trap Tricks Pudica, of course. Uh, Trap Trip Garden, the new field spell, which you really only play maybe at one of or uh, two max. Um, Shade Brigadine, it's actually very cool. It's a free uh, level four for you. Uh, Tramp, Trap Tantalizing Tune, very cool. Uh, Pinguicula, uh, the new ultra rare, the new uh, Xyz monster for them, very nice. 
a new link for them as well, Trap Tricks Oedipus, uh, which when I read this for the first time, I think this is probably one of the most broken effects I, I didn't expect Trap Tricks to, to have, but actually really, really good. So basically, I believe it gives you like, um, this is the one that gives you the attack boost, yeah. So all Trap Tricks monsters you control gain a thousand attack while you have a normal trap in your graveyard, which is just wild. Because uh, Trap Tricks not necessarily the strongest cards, but give every monster a thousand attack, sure. Uh, so that's really, really good. It Trap Tricks the Extender, very nice. Uh, I absolutely love that they reprinted evenly matched in here, so it makes it accessible for uh, budget players, for players who are just getting into the game as well. And if you are just looking to get into the game for the very first time, this is probably going to be one of the best uh, best sets and best decks to go ahead and pick up for you, definitely. Uh, so Holotea, I uh, did not really think much of this card when I first read it, but the more and more I see it, uh, the more and more I see combos with it, I was horribly mistaken. <laughs> so Holotea is actually really, really nutty, really, really busted card. Definitely a three of an A Trap Trick strategy. Then we got Atrex, then we got Mermilio, uh, we got uh, Nepethys, we got Dianea, Gen... Genlisi? <laughs> Genlisea? Vesicolo, uh, very, very cool card. I ran her at two in the... Uh, it's, it, I think it's still a good extender, especially if you're gonna be build, building a deck with just the three structure decks, I think she's a must of. Uh, I love that you get Kaijus in here as well. Kaijus are gonna be uh, essentially really, really good, especially in your side deck you can build. With, with, that's something I absolutely love with this deck, as this structure deck as well, is that not only can you make a competitive uh, main deck with this extra deck. You can also have you also have really really good side deck cards as well uh, For whenever you're going second definitely Lone Fire Blossom. Ash Blossom enjoy spring You get one of the best hand trap part of no the best hand trap in the game at the moment I think the only hand trap that's better than this would be Maxi, but Maxi is banned So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Ash, Rose Lover, and it counters Maxi, I believe. Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Sage the Floor, we got Mech Knights in here. I guess I'm a Mech Knight player now. Uh, Thunder, Fire, and Ice Hand. We get a Regeki. This is again, really, really cool card. Definitely, uh, uh, one of the main staples of the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Also, really, really good to go ahead and uh, actually put into your main deck as well. Uh, just because Trap Trick, of course, is very, very good going first, but it does struggle, tend to struggle going second, so that's why you need a main deck that evenly matched. Uh, it being a normal trap helps as well, but having the Regeki and the Harpy's Fed does just gonna help a lot as well. Uh, when it comes to clearing your opponent's board, uh, going up against Labyrinth, go ahead and make sure you have your Feather Dusters. Um, it might actually be worthy to at least main deck the Harpy's Feathers, even though it's just that one. You are going to need some type of backer removal, so it's good to have. Uh, terrifying Trap Hole Nightmare, Trap Hole Bottom, two copies of Bottomless Trap Hole, very cool. Boy Trap Hole. Uh, trap, uh, trap Hole Nightmare, two copies of Nightmare, Floodgate Gravedigger's Trap Hole, which is actually really, really good. Uh, trap Trick, very cool. Another uh, Shade Brigadine, Artifact Sanctum, uh, Naturia Sacred Tree. I'm not really sure why this one's in here, but it, I'm not going to complain. Uh, and then you get the entire uh, extra deck, like I said before. Mantis in the back, that's kind of weird, because uh, they're going to be one of the, one of the uh, main cards you're going to be playing. So. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and see the new Lost Art in comparison to this one, let me go ahead and see. There you go. So, I'm trying to find the difference. Ah, no, I see it. I, I see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is essentially what you're going to be getting with the structure deck as well. So you get a nice little rarity upgrade as well. Uh, and that's, again, that's going to be the structure deck, guys. Honestly, this looks like a really, really fun deck. Um, it actually looks really, really competitive as well. So I might take a little break from uh, from sprites, maybe for about a week or two, and just go ahead and play this for the time being. Just because it looks really fun. Um, a pack is obviously being using this deck to its full potential. <laughs> Uh, going undefeated as locals where it might be. If you have not uh, checked out Pax uh, videos on this, I mean, what are you doing? Uh, look, at my my, look at my channel, my video first. Definitely go ahead and check out his combos and his gameplay with the actual deck if you want to Go ahead and see what the deck's actually capable of. If you guys do want to see test hands of this, uh, just with the structure deck itself, uh, just so you and I can go ahead and you know talk through it and everything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. You can also let me know by smashing that like button. I also have a few test hand videos I'm going to be uploading throughout the week um, because you guys uh, destroyed the like button so much in my previous profile. So thank you guys so much for that, definitely. So we're going to have True King. I'm going to be doing a True King Dinosaur, I should say. 
that I'm going to be doing a uh, test hand video on later on this week. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys are notified of each and every single one of my uploads. But other than that, let me know what you guys are most excited for in this format. Honestly, Trap Tricks is a really, really cool deck. Um, it's not a deck that I have played before. Uh, before about like a week or two ago, so um, it's a deck that is still very new to me, but it has definitely a lot of potential with the new support as well. So it's a deck that I'm very, very excited to go ahead and take to locals, test out, things like that. But let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below next, and I'll go ahead and see what we can do about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching so much. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>